It's been a rough couple, three days. It's been, uh, it's been fun being back on the field, certainly, uh, with this group with, uh, you know, so many expectations. Uh, but, you know, the thing you have to guard against is, you know, we, we were in a different position a year ago trying to find our way as a defense and as a team. And now everybody's patting you on the back and tell you how good you are, and we hadn't played really a game. So, you know, it's something you got to protect yourself and, and certainly players, um, you know, that played well a year ago. There's no guarantee you have to make yourself, um, you know, a better player, a better team, and a better defense. And certainly that's our goal. Uh, but, you know, you to me, expectations are met uh, when you uh, make sure your work habits match those expectations. And uh, that's what, you know, we have to get back to uh, the things that are going to make us better, you know, as a team. And, and certainly, um, you know, there's signs, that, you know, that we, we can be a better defense than we were a year ago. But, again, it's a whole nother year. Uh, we have to start from the ground zero and and work this group uh, into a, a position that can consistently compete every time we step on the field. And where our our discipline, our attitude, our effort, and our technique will carry us through 12, 13 games. And, and that's the attitude that we have to have and really strive to be as, as good as we can be. And, uh, I could see a little bit of that, you know, creeped in uh, over the summer. And uh, we haven't been, it's early, but uh, we haven't been as good as we need to be. I was was hoping for more early on, but, um, you know, it's early. We, we have to knock some rust off and, and get back, back out there and uh, have that same hunger and desire that we had a year ago. And that's that's probably my biggest fear as a defensive coordinator is that, uh, you, you become complacent, and there's no place for that in football. If you do that, you're going to get slapped, and it'll happen quickly, uh, and, and we need to make sure we're not uh, taking anything for granted uh, You know, this year with, with so many positives and nine returning starters and all that the way we ended you know, last year and have that same hunger and desire. That's really what makes you great you know, as a team and uh, striving to be the best. And, and there's a lot of room for improvement, even as good at times we were a year ago. There's a there's a lot of room to to improve. So why are you losing your voice? You screaming screaming at him early? And it's just out of practice. It's been I've been out of it's been three months almost, so a little rusty. Um, it's always like that getting back into camp. Michael, from the time you returned to where you are now, did you get did you know you'd get here this quickly? So much. Expectation. That's that's hard to answer because you know each year is so different. Um, we we've been a different team all three years. Uh, our styles have really changed. You know the the first year to the second. Uh, I think there's a comfortability level with everything we're doing, knowing what you're getting from the players, the coaches. You know we've been together our second year, the whole group. So, but, you know, our players have improved. Uh, you know, our enthusiasm, our excitement as a team has improved. And, and that's, uh, you know, that's really what I noticed. You know, our kids have gotten stronger uh, throughout the, the, the three years we've been here. Uh, we've had some great uh, defensive performances, uh, you know, the first two years. Uh, but, you know, the consistency lacked late in the first year. You know, last year we were kind of evolving, and I, I think there's a certain amount of comfort in in our uh, scheme. Uh, obviously, uh, don't get comfortable as players, and that's what I, you know, that's my biggest fear to to guard against. And uh, just because you did something one year, it's that's gone forever. And you know, we we have to prove ourselves over the course of the 12 week, you know, period. And and this group will have a chance to to play well. Every time they step on the field, if we do one, two, three, you know, these three, three or four things. So, you know, as a defensive coordinator, that's, you know, really what all my focus is on is, you know, making sure we're, we're able to do these things well. Is there one player or players that you're looking to carry that message for you? I mean, like, 
kind of push that home to you guys? Well, I, I think all of them have to be smart enough. Uh, you always guard against slumps, sophomore slumps, with freshmen that had great freshman years. That's just something you have to you have to guard against. And you know, I don't, um, you know, I don't see that. But you know, it can happen, and and that's when people start telling you how good you are. That's my biggest fear. I mean, we, you know, everyone, everyone's in first place right now. You know, what I mean, there's everybody thinks they're the best team in the country right now, and and that's kind of you know we have to prove ourselves. We have to impose our will on people every time we step on the field, and that's really what you know. I want this group to look at the big picture. They're they're you know look at where it's going to take you if you do you know the, the capabilities you have and. Uh, like I said, it only takes one slip up, and you'll get, you know, you, you'll be wondering what happened. What do, you, what do you feel is the strength of your defense right now? I, I think just our overall group. I, I think, uh, I think our linebackers, but I, I just, you know, our D line has improved. I, I like our secondary. There's, there's a lot of strengths. I, I think every, at every level of our defense, we feel very confident in our players. It, it's probably the most complete group of 11 players that we've put on the field in the last three years. So, you know, that part of it, you know, we feel very comfortable about our depth uh, across the board. Uh, and we've added some, you know, some new players that I think will will make us even stronger. So uh, there's no one, again, I think our strength is our experience. Uh, I think it's our uh, experience across the board and our you know our physical maturity that we've gotten bigger and stronger those nine guys that started a year ago and you throw Julian in there that's ten guys that have really started um, you know as a group we're replacing one safety you know we're replacing a great corner and you know obviously Aaron uh, but you know we're really just replacing one starter so this group has played a, a lot of football how much did that grow during the practice leading up to the Sugar Bowl? I know you went through a 12 game season. Did that, during that practice for the Sugar Bowl, did that help you put those guys getting into confidence? Just going through the whole, uh, the whole 12 games helped us grow, learn uh, about the system, uh, the, the strengths and weaknesses. Uh, personnel uh, adjustments. Uh, again, I thought in some some games when people got big against us, we didn't handle it as well as we were equipped to handle it. Now we had to make some personnel adjustments. Uh, when you played with Wilson and Stryker on the field, we were playing almost with six DBs, and that just wasn't fair to our players. And we got pushed around, and obviously the Texas game, and certainly Notre Dame at times, we got pushed around. So, and then you know that helped us. Go, that obviously helped us going into uh, going into Alabama uh, in in trying to you know adapt to their style. They had a lot of big sets. So, you know, we, we had, had originally put this system in to handle the spread. Then everyone got big on us, and, and we had to adjust again to, to the big sets and people, you know, put, trying to be physical with us. So, uh, again, I, I think that was a learning experience with the defense. Mike, it's no surprise that you say that uh, it's the most complete defense you've had in your three years here. Go, go back to your earlier days here. You had some good ones. How do you, from a comfort level, I think that's how you phrased it. Uh, I, you know, I think you have more confidence and trust that, that comes with this group. Um, but, you know, you don't want to take that for granted again. And uh, But this group is – there's some similarities to the experience we brought back to some of those great defensive teams we put on the field. But those were some elite – those were those were some elite players uh, that through the 2003 and Two, three, you know, when you had Cody, Dvorak, Tommy Harris, Jonathan Jackson, Teddy Lehman. I mean, those are, you know, every guy went to the NFL. Um, you know, I don't know. All these guys will have an opportunity to go to the NFL, hopefully. But, you know, that was a pretty special group of players. Antonio Perkins, Dante Nicholson, everyone went. So, again, you know, we just have to wait and see. These, there's a lot of youth still in this team. I, I don't know if we're starting more than what one senior or two. Uh, Q Hayes and uh, uh, Chuka and Dulie and Julian. That would be three, I think, of, of this group. Uh, only three off of this group. So, you know, the youth is, 
you know, we're in a pretty good position. Our depth has improved across the board, and that, that's what's encouraging. I hear impressions of Stephen Parker after three practices. Stephen is, you know, he's, he's about as complete a player as I've seen this young, you know, in three days, at, you know, in a long time. There's a, there's a lot that he, he can do and do well at a very high speed. Obviously, his lack of experience, his knowledge isn't, he's seeing everything the way he needs to quite yet. But I, I've been impressed with his movements, uh, his ability to cover uh, and cover well. Uh, his the game isn't too big for him. Is you know he handles things well. So uh, I've been um, pleasantly surprised that he is you know the player that I thought he was. And sometimes that isn't always the case. And in Stevens' case, he's you know he's 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 got a chance to be a great player if he continues to you know keep doing what he's doing. He's talking about how impressed he's been with Julian Horner. Uh, who does that kind of bring into the mix at nickel there if he stays at Horner? Well, with that, then if then you put Q at nickel and you put uh, Hatari, Ahmad, when we go five DBs or Steven will be you know in the mix if he continues to you know show improvement. So it gives us a lot of flexibility. We still have plenty of of inside safeties. Mike, you, made a, you made a bunch of big plays against Alabama. You also gave up a lot of big plays against Alabama. Is, is that a sign of what we can expect? I mean, is it going to be a boom and bust, or are you going to be able to keep up the big plays for your defense and minimize the big plays for the, for the good offenses you play? You know, I, I, I think that's, you know, where the consistency improves and, you know, our awareness uh, on the field uh, improves. So that's that's where we need to get better. And, and that we were very inconsistent, I thought, you know, certainly at times. But we were good last year on third down, and that was a big deal, you know, for us. Uh, in this in this league, in the teams we play, you're going to give up some some plays. We, we have to stay aggressive. And that's the, the, the beauty of that game. Uh, we were able to stay aggressive because I thought, you know, once our offense got going, I, I thought we were going to be able to keep up. And that, that makes a big difference in how you call plays and how aggressive you want to be defensively when your offense is putting points. I'm not me, I don't try to put pressure on them. You call the game as it, as it goes and as your offense is flowing. And sometimes it gets hard when you're in, you know, tight games. You, you don't want to take a lot of chances if you're playing good defense. Uh, back in the summer that Charles Tapper picked up some weight and how's he doing and also Geno Grissom had a big bowl game have those guys carried that into the summer and first couple of days of practice it, it's hard to tell yet um, you know there hasn't been much hitting but you know Tap looks fine Geno looks fine so I mean it's it's too early to tell but they you know I, I think that they, it isn't a significant amount of weight that Tap put on maybe seven you know pounds made him a, a more physical player, but it's it's a little bit too early to tell. So I, it, again, it's not a huge amount, but I don't see any difference in those guys as players. You still expect uh, you still expect Stryker to play some nickel this year as well? Yeah, we're going to play him. We're going to move him around, use him in a lot of different places. Uh, you know, as a rush guy, but we need to drop him too. We don't want to. We don't want our defense, the people to know which ways, you know, if he's always coming, they're going to eventually figure out the slant, their, de their offensive line a certain way. So, you know, you have to keep people honest. Certainly we, we love bringing them, you know, off the edge. In terms of who we talk about, I know it's just us, but Quentin Hayes hadn't gotten a lot of, a lot of coverage last year, but how, how much of a central figure is he to your defense with so many new pieces down there? He's a, you know, the safeties are critical. Like Barry said, a big plays. I mean, they, they have to be, they move the wrong way. They're going to get a big play. So I, I think uh, the experience Q got a year ago, he's just coming into his own as a player. And as good as, good as he played a year ago, I, I don't think we've seen the best of him. Uh, and I, I think this will be a great year for him. Uh, we, we ask him to do a lot of different things. Uh, in our defense, and he's he's become a more consistent and a more reliable player, and and that you know that bodes well. He needs to keep continue to keep making plays, and I, I think he has the capabilities and the athleticism to do that. Dominic Alexander's guy you bragged on a lot. Has he 
Where's he come since spring, Mike? I think he's done well coming off a great freshman year. I, th I think he's done well. Uh, again, you know, we want to guard against being complacent, and you know, he certainly uh, deserved a lot of the accolades he got a year ago. And you know, we just want to keep him, you know, focused because you know he can be a, a, a tremendous player for us and a playmaker. And you can see he he finds the football very well and uh, plays way beyond his years. And this will be hopefully he continues to progress because I, I don't know if I've seen a linebacker play that well that as a true freshman as he did. It's been a long time since I've seen a guy like that play that well that early. Uh,